Hey Survivor Geeks, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app and my merchandise store. The links are below in the description. Update on how my app is coming along. Um, currently the name of the game is going to be called Idle Island. It's supposed to be a game that basically follows the strategy of Survivor and it also have a little bit of a feel of Minecraft, World of Warcraft, Among Us, and maybe a few others of your favorites. And so here you can see I've got a list of my, my current games. And these are all just test games right now. I don't have anyone actually testing the game for me. So we'll go into Rupert's game. Give this just a second to load. And you'll see I've got Rupert here that I've created. You might recognize this one over here is supposed to be James. Walk over here. Oops. Walk on top of her. It's supposed to be Sandra. Right now I'm allowing the players to walk a little ways into the water. But not too deep. I haven't figured out any swimming stuff yet, so that will come later. Up over here I've got the avatar that I've created for myself, so that's Survivor Geek. And then up here is just a random guy that my son created. And then back behind him I've created the one and only Jeff Probst. And so I've got just the, the island life, the scenery that I've been working on, and I've kind of been implementing a, a fun chat system that I think will be, be good. Communication is obviously a big part of the game of Survivor, so I wanted the, the messages to be able to be directed to just the people that you wanted to, and so I've added this feature where you can select basically how loud you're talking. And so I can go anywhere from a whisper to talking to, to shouting to get to a lot of people. And so if I wanted to just talk to Jeff and Liam here, I could come in here and do, hey guys, send that message. And Rupert said, hey guys, and it was heard by Jeff and Liam. And then if you were going to go into their account, this is just a way for me to sw switch accounts quickly. And so if I come into Liam's account, you can see that same message. Rupert said, hey guys, and it was heard by Rupert and Jeff, and only the messages that Liam was able to hear would be in this chat box. And so he could likewise come out here and talk to those guys. You could say, hey Rupert. And that one was from Liam, hey Rupert, heard by Rupert and Jeff. Now if I come back to Rupert, that message will be in his queue. The list of messages that he's been received. But if I were to come over to Survivor Geek, for example, to, to that account, since, since he wasn't around, these are some previous messages that I was testing with, but you'll see that he doesn't have any of those new ones, so kind of just fun to do that and then I've got this this huge world right now and the idea will be that you'll be able to build a shelter you'll be able to go around and gather resources for that shelter you will be able to gather food you'll be of course able to go around and search for idols and advantages and yeah you'll be able to, to vote for people at tribal council currently what I'm thinking to, to simplify the game I'm just a one person developing this and it would be a huge endeavor to create hundreds of challenges so I'm planning just to simulate the challenges according to the, the player's statistics, how fast and strong, how many, how many points they assign to each of those and then as time permits I will add in challenges and puzzles that you can actually play in the game. And so yeah you can just explore this, this huge world and of course each tribe will be on their own island and it will feel a lot like that, that Survivor game that we all have come to know and love. So let me know what you think, let me know if you have any suggestions. And if you want, I'm going to just wander here for a bit. It's kind of fun. I've done this game in Unity and a lot of this stuff it takes care of on its own. If you guys are curious, there's a little 
breeze blowing through the trees. You can see the, the shadows on the ground. That's, I think that's pretty slick for the, for the amount of time and effort that I put into it. It's pretty, pretty neat how quick the, this Unity game engine is able to... They do a lot of the heavy lifting for you, so I don't have to do a lot of that programming. Most of my time has been spent on the, the back end, I guess, which is getting information up to the server so it can be a, a multiplayer game. And if anyone's curious, I'm using Google Firebase for that. And if you can see, I've clicked way up there on the mountain, and from time to time you can see that green dot where it's my destination. Right up there. Oops, and I accidentally clicked there, so. And yeah, I tried to make the, the camera movement a lot of very similar to what you would be used to on a World of Warcraft type game where you can spin around as you're, as you're running you can zoom in, in or out and I, was headed, I thought I was headed to the tallest mountain but it looks like the tallest one's over here and I clicked way over there and he was like I don't think I can make it that far so didn't even try it <laughs> so we'll give him some intermittent steps This mini map here that I can zoom in and out on. Needs a little bit of improvement so you can actually see where you're out when you get out to these far distances. For the time being, it's basically just a second camera that is following the character from above. Yeah, so you can see it's a really nice sized island. A good amount of detail, I think, that depending on how difficult I make it, the idle searches could be crazy difficult, or I might tone it down and just say, okay, I'll give you a few, a few locations that it could be, go check them out and see if you can find it there. Or as you get a clue, it might narrow down the might narrow down the possibilities of where you can the idol can be found. And some a little bit of a goofiness right now. If, if you look out at the horizon, it doesn't look wonderful. The water comes in front of the trees, and you can see a, this gray on the horizon. I'm hoping to get that fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And you'll see as I as I click at different places on this mountain, it'll automatically follow the the easiest path to get there. He's, the characters are limited to be able to climb, I think, a 45% slope, so they can't go straight up the cliffs. So here we are at the high point of the island. I guess if this were the edge of extinction, this is where you'd have to come to get a log to take back to the camp and, and do that a, a hundred times before the end of the day, right? And so yeah, they're, like I was saying, the graphics are a little bit goofy, but you can get an idea of, of the size of the island. There's a pretty good sized kind of a bay area over there with a lot of beach and I think this is too steep for me to, to go straight down on this other side, yeah. So if I wanted to get down to that side I would have to come down a different route. probably too steep also. Let me see if we can figure out a, a way down if I just click down there. Nope. Too high. So this is going to put me clear on the opposite end of the island if I wanted to. Well, I'm actually going to do a little cheat and adjust the speed, the max speed of this player so he'll really start moving. from 6 to 25, so that should really get him moving. But we still have a problem if he doesn't want to go straight down the, the edge of the cliff. But yeah, you can see he's really moving now. And I will, according to... I do let 
you select the different strengths and weaknesses of your character and so according to how fast your character, how, how high their speed is, it will determine how quickly you're able to move around on the map. You also have a stamina indicator that will determine how long you can hold those speeds for and so it'll be a, a balance of how fast are you and the, the endurance you have and also it will there will be different things like strength and your camp life that will determine how well you or, yeah, how well you were able to to gather resources for example how much you're able to carry and that will also all of those statistics will also of course give an impact on how well you do in the challenges. And I'm planning to allow kind of a chief to determine who does what legs of, e of each challenge and so ideally you would look at the strengths of your tribe and put the, the player in the area that fits their strengths. And if you make a bad choice I guess your, your tribe will get grumpy at you. So I'm out at the, at the beach now on the opposite side from where we started and I'm going to just run around until I meet back up with all the other tribe members. Try to get out of these trees to make it a little bit easier to, to navigate where I'm going. Yeah, and right there the, the water looks a little goofy so I'll need to clean that up a little bit. do something to where if you're running in the water your your max speed will will drop down significantly to compensate for that the water that you're pushing through for the time being you just go the same speed in the water as you do on the ground and if you're still watching at this point in the video congratulations I guess <laughs> So speed, I put up the max, this player's max speed at 25 right now, and as I mentioned, the actual max speed, the default speed is at 6, so I just once again gives you an idea of there's a lot of a lot of area to explore out here. It should be should be fun. And the tree's kind of moved a little goofy as I approach him on the dead change the settings on that. What's happening there is they're going from being what's called a billboard to improve the environment to an actual 3D object and so it can look a little goofy. Alright, move back to the main camp area. As you can see, as you switch from player to player, I do have the multiplayer that part in, so I've moved Survivor Geek over here. And so now if I come over to having Rupert be the main character, you'll see that he's right there where we left him. Alright, well that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Have a good one.